Alright everybody, I feel like I should do a video after what we saw earlier today. We found out the final four, the official final four, the teams, and the locations. So, if you somehow don't know, because I'm pretty sure everyone knows by now, because I'm recording, it's like 8 o'clock at night right now. So we got number one, Alabama versus number four, Notre Dame. And number two, Clemson versus number three, Ohio State. So I got my prediction right. Yeah, last night I did a prediction video, sort of, of who should be in the final four. Now, the only thing that I kind of don't understand is uh, number, f number one against number four is usually in the All-State Sugar Bowl. And number two against number three is usually in the Rose Bowl, but they... They reversed it. It's the opposite. I wonder if they decided to change it. I maybe I wonder if it's because of COVID. I thought Alabama would play Notre Dame in New Orleans and Clemson playing Ohio State in AT&T Stadium. That's right. The Rose Bowl is in AT&T Stadium because of COVID. I guess Pasadena doesn't trust anyone to play a game there. So... That's kind of weird, but it's the opposite. So maybe it doesn't matter. Who knows if there's going to be fans? Actually, you know what? There better be fans there because if there's no fans there, that's stupid. This is a big game. This is a big deal, you know? Now, I'm not saying that the stadium should be full of people, but maybe, I don't know, maybe half maximum. And at least, I don't know, 25, 30% full. I mean, AT&T Stadium's a big, big stadium. The Superdome is pretty big, too. All right, so this video is, do I agree if Notre Dame should have been number four? Now, I did predict that this is going to happen, and I was right. So, I saw a Johnny Talk Sports rant video. And now, no offense, Johnny, but I kind of like your rant videos it's kind of funny I mean I kind of like any rant videos you know I, I'm a wrestling fan and I, I would watch like wrestling fans rant raging at stuff rants it's so funny sometimes I used to do rants and I actually listened to my old rants and I started laughing at myself so yeah now do I want it to be like this no I actually would rather have Texas A&M in the Final Four instead of Notre Dame. So, let's say if a and M's in it, even though they're not. Let's see. Uh, let's say if a and M's in it, right? So we put Notre Dame back up here, which means... If A&M's in it, then they will be number three, and Ohio State will be number four. So, I kind of wish it was like this, you know? That's what A&M fans want, obviously. They had a shot. They had a chance. Their chances of being in it, it was, it was kind of low, but it wasn't really low. I think they had like a like a 40% chance of making it. However, Notre Dame had like a 68% chance of making it. I think that's what ESPN said. Even though Notre Dame lost their conference championship. Even though it's one loss though, but... I don't know, man. Do I agree with Notre Dame being in it? Yes and no. Let me start off with the... with the yes. It's just that they defeated Clemson once, and I know they lost to the same team that they defeated really bad. Um, and here's the no part. They lost the conference championship, and not only they lost, it was a bad loss. If it was a close loss, then they would probably be in it instead of A&M. If A&M had a close loss against Alabama they would be in it for sure. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. So, 
Some people say Ohio State shouldn't be in it. Well, if Ohio State shouldn't be in it, should Notre Dame and A&M be in it? If neither Ohio State and Notre Dame should be in it, A&M would be in it. And who would be the fourth team? Cincinnati? That would be kind of weird. I mean, that would be kind of interesting, but they would have to play Bama, so. Um, yeah. So this is this is really what we're seeing here. Um, now I asked my big brother because he's an Ohio State fan if he would rather Ohio State play um, Alabama or Clemson, and he said Alabama. And I kind of have to agree with them because I want Texas A&M in it in the Final Four. And last year. Ohio State already played Clemson in the semifinals, and now they're doing it again. Man. So, this is, this is official, folks. This is what we're seeing. Um, I don't know if the Rose Bowl in Pasadena is still going to be a thing. I'm not talking about the, 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 that semifinal game. I'm talking about a, a real Rose Bowl with a Pac-12 team playing in it. I don't know if they're going to have one of that. So, okay, is Bowl Mania still a thing this year? Because I asked someone, and he said he's not sure. So, let me know. But, yeah, people agree with Ohio State being in it. People agree with A&M should be in it. Right? So I comment on Giant Talk Sports video. It's called Angry Texas A&M Fan Reacting to the College Football Playoff Ranking. So I, I, said, I said to him, so if you say Notre Dame and Ohio State shouldn't be in it, then Texas A&M should be in it, and the fourth team should be Cincinnati, and he said correct. So that means... Cincinnati would be playing Alabama, and A&M would be playing Clemson. I would like to see that, but I don't really want to see Cincinnati, so I'd rather have A&M instead of Notre Dame. So, so technically we're having two ACC teams in it, even though one of them lost the conference championship. Every year, folks... Every year, there's always one or two teams that get screwed out of the Final Four. It's every year. A team or two gets screwed out of it. UCF, remember, they were, remember when they were undefeated that one year? Two years in a row? They didn't, make, they didn't make it. They didn't trust them. They got screwed. Um, who else got screwed? Who, who got screwed last year? I don't think anyone did because we had three 13 and 0 teams in the final four. I think the year before Ohio State got screwed out of it, but they had that terrible loss against Purdue. So, but yeah, folks, every year there's always one or two teams that get screwed out of the playoffs. So, that's why, you know, people are saying they should be the final eight. I would like to see it as the final eight, not the final uh, four. Because if, 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 if it's a final eight, there wouldn't be any problems whatsoever, you know. Cincinnati would have been in it. A&M would have been in it. Um, Oklahoma would be in it. Who's number eight? It's not Iowa State. They lost. I guess it's, uh, it's not Florida. They lost. Uh, whoever number nine is, is number eight. Georgia or Miami? No, Miami lost. They, they had like a bad loss against North Carolina, I think. I'm not sure, but yeah. Anyway, this is, do I agree with this? Uh, probably not. I would like to see A&M in it, mainly because Johnny Talk Sports is a fan of it, and They've never been in it. Why not? Why not give the team that never been in this in this uh, Final Four before? Notre Dame has been in it before. 
you know? Now, we all know Alabama and Clemson deserves to be in it, right? Ohio State, the reason why they're in it is because they're undefeated and they won the conference championship. So I kind of agree with them being in it, but I don't really agree with them being number f number three. I think they should be number four. That's why my brother says they should be playing Alabama, which means they would be number four if that was the case, but it's not. So, yeah, I'd rather have A&M playing Clemson and, no and Ohio State playing Alabama. So, I'm guessing a and is going to be in a New Year's Six Bowl. Maybe they should play Cincinnati. Cincinnati should be in a New Year's Six. So, why not have A&M and Cincinnati play each other in the uh, New Year's Six Bowl? Maybe you can do that in the Fiesta Bowl. Yeah, an SEC team and an American team. I believe that happened uh, last year or the year before. Yeah, it was the year before LSU played UCF in the Fiesta Bowl. That was an SEC team and an American team. I don't know how many bowl games are going to happen, but I think they're going to have the big ones for sure. But they're, they're probably not going to have the little ones or the early ones or the medium ones. But I want to know if bowl mania is a thing because if it is... I will do a prediction video. I can't do a prediction video of, you know, you know, because last year, if you remember, I did a long video of me predicting which teams should be in which bowl game. I can't do that this year because I don't know if that bowl game is going to happen this year or not. So that's a bummer. So. But so Alabama, Notre Dame, Rose Bowl and AT&T Stadium, Clemson, Ohio State in New Orleans. I kind of hope they don't call it the Rose Bowl in AT&T Stadium because the Rose Bowl is always in Pasadena. So you might as well call it the Cotton Bowl. So I don't know if they are going to have a, a, a real Rose Bowl where a Pac-12 team is playing someone else, which I believe the best Pac-12 team is USC. So I don't know. Can you imagine the no Rose Bowl? at all now I'm not talking about the one in AT&T State I'm talking about the one in Pasadena or can you imagine uh, no Orange Bowl you know no Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl I don't know you gotta have fans in these bowl games because bowl games is like a dream come true matchup right two teams that you like hardly ever see go against each other right you know like what happened what, last year? Did what happened last year? What was a game that we've never seen? Like two teams playing against each other. Alabama played Michigan last year. I don't think I ever seen that before. That was like a dream match. Um, who did Georgia play last year? I forgot. It's hard to remember last year. Uh. I believe Oklahoma State played A&M in the Texas Bowl last year. That was like a dream match. Bowl games are like dream games. That's why you got to have fans. Because like if a team that hasn't won a bowl game in a long time or if a team defeated a top-ranked team or a top-10 team, the fans would go crazy. You know, can you imagine that with no fans? If, listen, if there's no fans in a bowl game, I'm not going to watch it. That ain't no fun. If you're, if you're not going to have any fans in bowl games, you might as well not have the bowl game at all. That's just, uh, man. So, like, the bowl games, like, I believe they have, like, a bowl game in Yankee Stadium in New York. I believe they did that last year. That's probably not going to happen this year. You know, you can't. There's quite a bit of bowl games up north, so... Like the the Idaho Potato Bowl, that 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 might not happen this year. It's in Boise. Boise is a cold city. But there is quite a bit of bowl games that happen in the South, so maybe they'll just have the games in the South. But or let me know if you let me know in the comments. Do you guys agree Notre Dame being in it, or A and M should be in it? 
or neither of them, or neither uh, Notre Dame and Ohio State. I'm surprised a lot of a lot of you guys commented on my uh, last video, so thank y'all for uh, telling me your opinions of what you think should happen. So, yep, that's about it, folks. So, uh, I might do another video about this one day, but. It's going to start on New Year's Day, I believe. Yeah, it's usually on New Year's Day, Rose Bowl and Allstate Sugar Bowl, but yeah. So I'm guessing next weekend is when maybe the New Year's Six starts or the Medium Bowl games. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, like people are saying that Notre Dame shouldn't be in it, you know. I don't know. But yeah, this is the first time ever where a team is in the Final Four where they lost the conference championship. That is kind of a weird way to think about it. If Notre Dame had two losses, they're, they're out of it. If A&M had two losses, they're out of it. But if A&M had a close loss against Bama, they would probably be in it. If Notre Dame had a close loss against Clemson, they would probably be in it. If Ohio State lost the, the Big Ten championship, they would be out of it. If Clemson lost the ACC championship, they would be out of it. See, A&M fans wished those things happened. They wished Clemson lost. They wished Ohio State lost, right? So, yeah, if Clemson and Ohio State both lost, they would be out of it, which means Notre Dame would be number two. A&M would be number three. And I'm guessing the fourth team would be Cincinnati because that's what Johnny Talk Sports wanted, I guess. So that means A&M would be playing Notre Dame and Cincinnati would, play, would be playing Alabama. So that's it, folks. Sorry for the long video. I just want to say everything out there. What do you all think? Do you agree with Notre Dame being in it? Me, maybe not really because why not give a team – a chance, a shot that they've never been in it before. So yeah, I wish A&M was in it instead of Notre Dame. I'm just glad Alabama's not playing Notre Dame in the final two. They're playing each other in the final four. So, But in the end, I think we all know who will be in the final two. That's right, the two teams that played each other in the championship numerous times. They didn't do it last year. It's been a long year or two. <laughs> I don't know. All right, that's it. Maybe I'll do a prediction video of this final four, but this is what this is what like what I'm thinking right here. That's it. So if bowl main is a thing, I'll do a prediction video. If not, I might just do a prediction of the bowl games I can find. So, that's it. Tell me in the comments what you think. And All right. If you're a fan of my Christmas videos, Christmas videos are coming up because Christmas is about less than five days. Got to get those Christmas videos out. NORAD, uh, NORAD Track Santa video is coming. I did a long video of me playing the game, so that's that's going to be premiering after this. I don't know what time, but if you're a fan of it, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out of it. That's it.